Okay, this is my 1990 325i motorsport. It's just started raining here in Auckland, so I've just given it a nice wipe down, but <laughs> so much for that with the rain. At least you can have a look and see what she looks like. You can see she's uh, in immaculate condition. The BBS originals. You can see the condition of the car there. I'm getting soaked, but that doesn't matter. The roof, it's got reflection like glass. The whole car does. You can see my hand there. For original silver, it's fantastic. So I'll open the door quickly so we can get an idea of the interior before the rain comes in really hard. Oh, I'm soaked. Still raining hard. At least here you can see the condition of the seats. And the back seats. You can pause the video at any time to get a better idea of what any part of the car is like. Excuse a bit of misting up here, that's just the camera that's misting. 327,334,000 Ks. Uh, there's plenty of fuel in the car. It's got a immobilizer as well. You see the blue immobilizer there flashing. Five speed manual, original motorsport. No one's changed this gearbox. This is the um, motorsport edition of the shorter ratio. So it's got four short gears, and fifth is a little bit longer. And uh, yeah, she's in. Fantastic condition. So as you can see up here, we've got the black hood liner, all original. Uh, back there is a ski bag behind that armrest. And I'll just pause the video and jump to the next part of the car because I could get out in the rain. So here we got the boot. Let's open that up. Uh, all got all of its original tools as well. So you can see in here, all original toolkit. Uh, plenty of boot space. There's the ski bag I was talking about a moment ago. Well, my camera's not doing very well with this weather. Um, for the BBS, we have a unique tool that takes off the center, and then you can get in there. We've got um, jack and everything else that goes with it. And here we've got the original 15-inch basket weave. There's one of them. Uh, for the right price, I'll throw in the other four. And then we've got um, the original BMW um, safety uh, triangle. So yeah, it's coming down right now. But uh, that's the original triangle in there. And just pop that away quickly. Done. And that always sits over here in the car. So she's uh, well looked after, there's no rust. In the normal spaces, I know that sometimes people say there's rust here. I've had everything repaired. If there was anything, I said to the guys that were working on the car, um, I just had the roof resprayed because I wasn't happy with it. And um, I said, hey, just touch up anything else there is on the car that needs to be done. And I don't know what there was, but whatever there was, it's all done and all repaired if there was anything at all. So it might have been little stone chips and that, this and that, um, but that's all been fixed. While we wait for the rain, we've got these um, Continentals on here. So they're in new condition, as you can see. This is the same all round. I barely drive the car. Uh, maybe maybe a couple hundred Ks a month. Um, but she's straight, as you can see across the side here. We've seen the reflection of the posts over there. Um, hopefully I can open the door and just... This is the driver's side, obviously. And we've got our seats that move forwards. Just hop in again. Alright, so we've got an immobilizer. I'll just start this with my other hand. There we go. So with the check light, that's just the brakes, and then as soon as I touch the brakes, that's what it always does, that's normal. We've got these little down lights here as well, which are pretty cool. Um, which is quite unique to this model. Also has the onboard computer, which you can toggle through with the um, controls here so ignore all that it's the battery's just recently been disconnected so it's going to be all over the place um, when they when they resprayed the roof um, so 
Handbrake's up, handbrake down, there's no lights showing on the dash. Um, and you can have a listen to how well she runs. So she's sitting steady, steady there, just about 750, 800. So I'll give it a little rev. Very responsive, very well maintained motor, rebuilt, well looked after. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop the bonnet. And then I'll show you what the engine bay looks like. We've got a dash mat on here. There's a couple of minor cracks, but nothing, nothing um, to write home about just a little one there and a little another little one here somewhere um, So not too bad So here's the powerhouse um, 2.5 liter straight six that's been fully rebuilt. It's got um, custom extractors on there um, Just for a bit better flow uh, to keep the power up, new radiator, new silicon hoses, new spark plug leads, new spark plugs, um, new reservoirs, um, even got the sound proofing inside the, the bonnet there. We've got um, new reservoir on that side as well. So let's go around. Um, yeah, new belts. Yeah, basically everything's been redone on the car, so she's in fantastic condition. Um, this pipe here, I've got the original airbox, the airflow meter sitting in the garage at home. Um, but this just gives it a bit more power, so it's got a, a, a filter down the bottom that just draws air up, straight up um, with the MAF sensor to give it a bit better power to race, weight ratio. Um, so the horsepower is sitting at about 213, which is close to what the original M3 was on the four-cylinder. Um, Rego is until May, 6th of May next year. And the WAF is 23rd, I think, of November. Uh, so plenty of time on both. And that's, that's her. Thank you.